Well, we are all human. I did not get my daily vlog out yesterday. Why? Because time snuck up on me and I'm making the other content. And by the time I realized what time it was, I said, I'm not going to be able to make it and get it actually up on my channel. So I didn't. But here I am making up for that lost video. So this, even though here it is on Friday, the 13th, I am making a vlog for Friday, uh, April the 12th. And also I'm going to make one for Friday the 13th. So I'm going to make it a good day, not a bad Friday the 13th. I'm going to actually do both vlogs for the day. One thing about social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Ustream, I mean, there is so many out there that you can put content of your opinion or your experience that you had with some encounter with some company or some individual. If somebody wants to let other people know about your company, how good it is or how bad experience you had with that company, there is a Google rating that you can go and put how many stars up to five down to one make your post of your remarks of your experience with that company so the whole world can see it. You can make a video on many platforms about that company. So it is getting harder and harder for a company to treat someone bad and thinking they're not going to have any repercussions of it. That's not true anymore. Facebook and all, and all the other platforms that you can get on that cost you nothing. You can make a page about the company, your experience. And be sure if you do, you got documentations that actually back up your allegations or your claims that you have on that company. Because if you don't, they can get you for slander. But when you have proof of your statements, it's so easy just to be able to do that online. And it's making some companies realize that they're going to have to actually run a legit business or the word's going to get out from the people that they treat wrong. They're going to get the word out to the world exactly what kind of business you're running. You can't hide behind closed doors anymore. Social media has doors wide open to everybody. It's not just reporting to the Better Business Bureau anymore. It's not just making a blog somewhere about a company. It's everywhere. And I highly recommend everybody that had bad experience with a company post it somewhere. So it will help out somebody else that has not had dealings with them and let them have more information about that company. Let them make a better judgment 
if they want to use that company for whatever service or product it may be. Use social media to inform other people about companies. Companies in the past, it was so easy for them to get away with murder, as the old saying is. But not anymore. Social media can help you grow a business or it can hurt and shut your business down. So in short story statement, treat your customers or clients with, with utmost respectful as you can. Treat them the way they should be treated. Don't try to get over on them. Because if you do, most likely, it's going to re- be revealed in, in the internet somewhere. And it's not going to look good for you. I've had people that try to leave um, bad reviews on my business. Just because I disagree with a comment that they made on somebody's video on YouTube. They found that what business I owned went to Google's uh, business page of that business and left a bad remark that they said they got bad service and everything else. Well, the thing is, they never received any service from me because they're thousands of miles away from me and I don't travel that far for heating and air service. I found what their name was, found other social media platforms they were on, found all their profiles, sent it to Google and said, this person never received any services from me at all. I said, here's their location. It showed what state they're in and all that. I had all their Twitter and Facebook and Instagram profiles and everything. Said, this is a false review of my business I like to have it removed within 30 days it was removed as if it never existed my rating went back up their comment is no longer there and they have been blocked from leaving any more so always treat your customers with respect Always keep up on all platforms that you're on of reviews as of the business itself and see if anybody is given false information just because they don't like you or they think they got bad service, even though they didn't, they want to try to hurt your reputation with fault with uh, false statements. It has not happened, but maybe three times with, you know, personally, but I've seen other people that is getting busted side to head on all websites and on reviews by, you know, two or three different people that just mad because they didn't get their way and it's their own fault, but they think they can retaliate by lashing out and trying to put a bad name on that business. And of course, all them got removed as well, but it takes our time to actually go through the steps to get it removed while we can do something else. So never get too busy working, you know, doing stuff for your clients that you cannot take time for yourself and for your business by looking on websites and places where people can leave reviews of your company and just skim through them and see if anybody's given bad reviews. And if it's accurate, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. But if it's a bad review and it has no truth in it, get it removed. Start the process and get it removed. There's always going to be 
mama's boys in the basement keyboard happy that has nothing else to do but hate on other people we like to call them trolls they're always going to be because they're not willing to do the work that we're willing to do to make something for our lives we're shooting for our dreams and we do something every day to get to the next level of getting to that dream they want everything handed to them and everybody they see that's doing it better than them, which is practically all of them. They want to hate on them. I mean, it's just silly things. I mean, we can go on for days and days of things that people want to argue about. Some people say the world is round. Some people say the world is flat. I mean, silly things. They don't have nothing else to argue about. Rather, the world is round or is it flat? Did we land on the moon or did we not land on the moon? Who cares? I woke up this morning. I'm grateful. I'm having a great day. I woke up. I don't care if it's round or if it's flat or if we got to the moon or we didn't get to the moon. It don't matter. Don't have nothing to do with my life. I get up in the morning. I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm going to make videos. I got a wonderful wife and kids. Two wonderful cats. The moon don't have nothing to do with that. If I know if we got there or not. Or if the, round, if the world is round. Or if it's flat. And talking about something that's flat. And talking about cats. If anybody owned a cat. Knows good and well if things, if the world was flat and there's cats on the world, they would not at all, all, all things off the edge of it by now. Anybody that owns a cat knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go in detail about that. You have to be a cat owner to understand that statement. If it's something that has an edge to it and there's a cat on it, it something's going to be knocked off. But that's nor here nor there. Silly things to argue about. It really don't make no difference in your life. You just want to find something to argue about. You just want to put somebody down. You're no more than a hater. And it don't bother me to people to do that. Because I have better things in my life to deal with. I just do what I got to do to solve the problem if it's affecting me or affecting my business or my family I will retaliate and take care of the problem but if it don't affect me I don't care I don't have time to be like kids and just argue back oh the world is flat no you don't have no proof you know, the burden is on you oh so many things I see that comes in on Twitter feeds and and videos on youtube and facebook things that people argue about it's just silly i've seen you know six or eight year old people kids that's got more common sense than them people do it's just ridiculous how this world is and that's the people that always wondering why is my life not going anywhere? Everything I try don't work. It's because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not putting the hustle in. It's just silly that things that I see people do, people complain. And they complain that their life is not going anywhere and they can't blame nobody but themselves for what they're doing or lack thereof of what they're doing and I used to reach out to them people and say hey you know if you need any help or whatever to get that done let me know and the first thing they reply is you know they try to put me down like what do you know I'm like, I'm just here to try to help. Have a nice day. Bye. Them people just cannot be helped. So don't let them kind of people stop you from getting to the dreams that you have for your life. 
life is hard enough as it is by itself. We don't need to twine ourselves and mingle with people that is going nowhere because of their selfishness and lack thereof of motivation or desire to go anywhere. And I said it in a video before. Take all your friends that you have. Get rid of at least one or two that is not going to help you to get to that next level. And replace them with some that is going to help you. And you'll see a big difference. I don't make many videos like this. But it's just been like it's been escalating for the last two weeks that I've seen online for some reason. I think the AI has got sick and it's been throwing things that I really don't normally see in my feeds or notifications and all. And it's not just on one platform, it's on many platforms. It's almost to the point like I just want to, you know, just stop being on the platform for a month just to get away from it. It's crazy. But I always think in the back of my head, that's not going to do anything except temporarily get away from them trolls. And when I come back, they still going to be there and still going to be useless. So might as well just keep driving toward that dream that I have for my life. And that's exactly what I do. And that's one reason why I missed yesterday's vlog. And that's why I'm making it today because I got so busy with everything I was doing. Had so much to do. I just didn't get it all done. But that happens. So, but I'm making up for it. And as soon as I get this video done and get it edited, get it uploaded and online, I'm going to get me some good old coffee since this cup is kind of evaporated and then I'm gonna sit here and make another video then I'm gonna make some other videos for the channel I'm not gonna let them kind of people stop me life is short enough as it is even though people are living longer than they used to be but still life is short every moment counts not that you need to be making content all the time but you making content and other part of your life you need to be spending with your family and that's what I do as if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram you see how many times a week that my wife and I spend together of going out to eat movies I mean all kinds of stuff I've had people ask me says you keep going out every almost every night you going to the movies or you going shopping how in the world are you finding time to make the videos that you do It's not easy. Time management. Don't waste time on the people that's not going to help you to get where you want to be. If they cannot help you, push them to the side. Concentrate on the people that actually can help you. And when I say that, I'm talking about Everybody in your life, not just your friends, co-workers. I'm even throwing in family members. Don't matter what generation it is. Brothers, sisters, mama, daddy, cousins, second cousins. It don't matter. We're all human. And if we can't help each other out, we shouldn't be in each other's lives and getting in the way for each one of us actually to reach the next level in our lives. And I know a lot of people don't like that. 
But that's the way it is. Not much more I really want to put in this video. Except reach for the dreams that you're, you know, that you got set. The place you want to be in, say, three years from now. Where do you want to be in your life? In five years, where do you want to be? In 10 years, where do you want to be? In 15 and 20 years from now, where do you want to be in your life? Do you want to be living in a different state? Have a certain job? Living in a different country? Able to travel every month to a different state? Whatever it may be, do what it takes to get there. Don't let people stand in your way. Because if you do, then you're going to get to the point 15, 20 years down the line. I said, man, I was hoping to be in this state by this time of my life and have this job and all. But I let people stand in my way and not able to do it. And now it's too late because, you know, years are gone. You can't get years back. Don't matter how hard you try. They have not come up with that technology yet. Some have tried and all have failed. Don't wait for something that somebody else does before you make your move. Make the move and make things happen for your life. Because nobody else has to live it. You do. I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I don't want it to ramble on too long. But leave your comments below this video. What kind of mishaps have you had in your life that you see now that has stopped you getting to the place that you want as quick as that you want to get there? What is holding you back now of getting you to where you want to be? I mean, as simple as you don't have the right equipment or you don't think you got the right equipment. You're not comfortable on camera yet. Whatever it may be, leave it in the comments. I'd like to know. Perhaps something that I can do to help you in that situation. I don't know. But don't let people stand in your way. They, if they're not with you and for you, they are against you in whatever you're doing. So do what it takes to move up to that next level. And if you like these kind of videos, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when I put these kind of videos up or go live, consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that little bell notification. And I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.